Yo, Bam here. We made a podcast, YouTube video. You know we're doing it. Uh, this is the third one. Caesar dropped one. Milan the boring. I dropped one. Stop the bleeding FC. Third one here. Going to talk about this match I just watched: Barcelona versus Villarreal. Uh, we're coming off the heels of Barcelona not doing too well lately. They lost to Granada over the weekend. You can uh, th- I talk. Did I talk about that? Oh, I talked about that in the last uh, video, uh, YouTube video that I did. So I wanted to see how Barcelona could bounce back from this Granada loss. Make sure you check us out. We made a podcast.com at We Made a Podcast on all social media. Quick recap of the game here. Um, I don't usually watch Barcelona games. I did, I watched a few last year. I'm not like a big Barcelona guy. But obviously Messi was coming back. He started this match, uh, his first start of the season. He came in the second half against Granada. First start of the season. Um, Kind of excited to finally see Messi starting with Griezmann and Suarez. (laughs) Um, But yeah, Barca versus Villarreal. Midweek action, Tuesday. Um, Oh, and something, you know... (laughs) Everybody, every Barcelona fan is talking about Valverde out. I'm not really sure if it's all been Valverde's fault. Um, I think that he's just missed Messi uh, these first few games. What are you supposed to do? Like, it's obvious that Griezmann can't take the place of Messi. Without Messi, Suarez is not his uh, three years ago dynamic self. Um, I don't know if Dembele's been hurt or if they're kind of icing him out. I'm not sure. But he hasn't been out there. What on the world is this on my phone? Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Um, But yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily Valverde's fault, everything going on, but they've been missing Messi. So let's get into the match. I did do a Griezmann tracker. I was like, just going to do a Griezmann tracker, but I was like, you know, let me do some actually notes from the game. Um, Sixth minute, Griezmann got a goal off of a corner. A little flicked on header that he got near post. I'm not too impressed by that. (laughs) Um, But in the first half, he did play pretty decent. I put, uh, what is this, six good plays and one bad play, including the goal. Mm, He wasn't, like, amazing, but, like, it was better than he was against Granada by far. Um, In the 11th minute, I put that Barcelona looks a lot better playing with Messi. 15th minute golasso to goaler, if you remember that episode. Um, amazing goal by Artur without the H. Real Brazilian goal there. As uh, Ray Hudson says, he just saw the whites of the uh, goal post and just went for the shot. I think in Arthur's mind, which I can appreciate this in a player, especially a midfielder, you know, just shoot the rock from distance and make the goalie work. Just get it on a frame. That, that's all you got to do. If it's super far out, there's gonna be some uh, there's gonna be some movement on the ball, and the goalie's gotta think about it at least. If you can just get it on frame, Arthur did that, and the Villarreal goalie was just kind of watched it go in. Twenty um, second minute, it did look to me that Villarreal kind of gave up. Twenty um, ninth minute, Messi was getting some work done on his leg, and he was off the pitch, and Dembele was up with the uh, hazard <laughs> vest off. But in the 30th, 32nd minute, Messi came back on the pitch. Um, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. I put in the 40th minute, can anybody on Villarreal shoot the rock? Then four minutes later, Santi Cazorla answered that question with, in my opinion, an even better goal than our tours. Real knuckleball. It just completely confused Ter Stegen in the air. Ter Stegen swiped at it. Uh, after the ball <laughs> went into the net, basically. Um, amazing goal by Santa Cazorla. I think he shot that on his left foot. I can't, I'm not sure if he's left foot or not, but I used to love watching Santa Cazorla play at Arsenal. I used, I remember me and Caesar before we started the podcast talking about how amazing he was and then obviously had those knee issues. Um, so, yeah, halftime going in uh, 2-1. 
then Dembele comes on for Lionel Messi in the second half. Now, at this point, I'm not sure what's up with his injury. I don't know if it's anything serious or if it's that he came back too early, you know, trying to help the team out. But um, hopefully for Barcelona's sake, it's not anything too serious. But he was off in the second half. Maybe it's just a precaution. Who knows? Dembele came on, who I don't know if he has been hurt or not, or if he's just had some disciplinary uh, punishment. Dembele came on on fire. By the 50th minute, he had two balls into the box that easily could have been or should have been goals. Uh, one went to Griezmann, who missed it. Um, I don't know if it was a half volley or a volley. Either way, he did miss the ball when he kicked when he went to kick for it. And then one was to Suarez, which I think he kind of scuffed it off the ground. Um, but yeah, Dembele was turned up, putting a lot of moves, getting fouled, doing his thing. Um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his first name? Firpo? I forgot his name. Is it Juan? No, he's Brazilian. Uh, something Firpo. I, I forgot it. Junior Firpo. Um, I put it in the 74th minute. Has he even put in a cross yet? I don't know what this dude is doing. Barcelona's... You know, they don't really have, like, a traditional number nine out there. Obviously, Luis Suarez is a little bit different these days. So they just really don't play crosses. But I wish you could just see one Junior Firpo or, or Semedo cross. I got some conspiracy theories about Dembele and Semedo, but I'm going to save them for the actual podcast, which actually just dropped today. Uh, today's Tuesday. I'm recording this. Make sure you go check it out. Uh, the episode is called Three Weeks Later. Um, make sure you check that out and make sure you go to the end of the episode minute uh, hour and nine minutes it's really funny if you watch it on YouTube and make sure you download and make sure you subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that anyway, back to the match um, at some point in the ma- in the second half it looked like Griezmann was playing underneath Luis Suarez and Junior Firpo was pushing a little bit up it didn't really do much, honestly um, 78th minute, uh, Ansu Fati came on for Luis Suarez who Hasn't really done much this season, obviously. Anybody watching Barcelona matches. Uh, Ansu Fati is playing wide left. Ansu Fati came in kind of turned up as well. I did do a tracker. I put that he had three good plays and one bad play. But it wasn't really like... But everything was basically positive, though. Um, He's brought a lot of energy. 90th minute. um, I'm pretty sure Ansu Fati got fouled close to the box. And... PK and Griezmann standing over it. It's on the left, so Griezmann shouldn't be taking it. I don't know why in the world PK standing over it. Where's our tour? Did our tour? Maybe he went off for De Jong. I can't remember. But I feel like our tour is still out there. But I'm like, damn dog, you see, our tour just made this a crazy golazo. I, maybe he wasn't out there. I don't know. But PK was standing over the free kick. He took the free kick. You're not Sergio Ramos. Even though I've never really seen Ramos make the free kicks, but at least he takes them. The free kick was on frame. It's kind of like the free kicks I do on FIFA. Like, I can get them on frame, but they're not good enough to beat the goalie <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the match ended 2-1 to Barcelona. Anybody watching knows, like, they looked better than, obviously, against Granada and better against uh, than they looked against BVB. Messi was in there doing his thing, and he looked pretty good good while he was playing. He's still getting to match fitness, obviously. He got the ball taken off of him a few times, but Messi gets the ball taken off of him sometimes, too. He didn't have, like, the super magic that he usually does, but he was doing his thing. Um, but we'll see how injured he is. I literally was, uh, it was like, it, there was three minutes, I don't know, and it was like the 92nd minute and, like, 30 seconds, and I was like, damn, did Griezmann ever shoot the ball with his foot, like, in the whole match? And then he got that half volley at the end that went over the uh, over the goal. I'm really happy that didn't go in because they'd be talking about him having a great game, which he definitely did not. Um, but he looked a, bit, a little bit better when Messi was out there. Without Messi, he didn't do anything. Oh, and actually, I didn't complete my tracker of him. In the second, so in the first half, I put Griezmann had six good plays, one bad play. In the second half, once again, non-existent. Two bad plays and one good play. I think the good play was like a back heel he did down to Fati, who shot it, or maybe passed it and somebody else shot it. Um, he also picked up a yellow card. He didn't really do anything in the second half. Barcelona looked... Dembele looked good, but like the team didn't really look that good. Um, and maybe Busquets is done out here. I'm not sure. 
but yeah, he didn't really Griezmann didn't really get get any real shots. Like I didn't I didn't look at the shots on goal stats or whatever, but I don't know what's up with Barcelona. Maybe it's going to take for Messi to come back in like the 10th week for them to like really get it going. But, you know, they're on some levels fighting for their time. You know what I mean? Uh, Luis Suarez is just not the Luis Suarez of old. And that's kind of like very old now. Uh, Busquets might be done out here, kind of. What's his name? PK is not like, you know, a spring chicken. But like, you know, he had a decent season last season. But, you know, it's going to be another long season for them, for him. Um, oh, I have some conspiracy theories, but I'm not going to get into them right now. But yeah, anyway, Barcelona 2-1 Villarreal. That's a good win. Villarreal can um, cause some teams some trouble. Although I, I feel like Villarreal is like, I don't know if they're playing some young guys or what. There's like a lot of dudes, some African guys up there. They're not really like that polished, it doesn't seem. They, they got some skill, but it was just like, they're not really putting enough shots on target kind of thing. And um, obviously the, the goals in this match were like, I don't want to say lucky, but it was like, not my kind of goals, whatever. <laughs> uh, but they look cool, I guess. Anyway, we made a podcast. At we made a podcast on all social media, Instagram, Twitter. We made a podcast dot com. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we're on Spotify, everything else. And obviously, this video is only on YouTube. Um, more YouTube content coming. Probably going to do this for the Real Madrid Osasuna match as well. And PSG is playing tomorrow. And might do it for some games this weekend, too, obviously, because we have Champions League next week, and we'll cover that on the podcast. Yeah. Holler.